Okay, so here's who Texas plays in the non-con these next few years. Okay. I mean, it's the, these are just the next four years. Those are kind of the big non-conference games that are already on the schedule. So they obviously go to Ann Arbor this year to play at Michigan. Then they go to Columbus next year to play Ohio State. Then they host Ohio State in the return trip in 2026, and they host Michigan in 2027. Yeah. So that's – that's the reason why, and this is me thinking, I'm being soft here. I'm willing to admit it, all right? This is me being a B, a P, whatever you want to call me, I will I will take it. Well, come on, you've got an extra playoff team being in here. Soft. Baby. I'm being soft here. Give me eight. Give me eight SEC games instead of nine, okay? Because I, I feel like Texas is going to continue to schedule a big-time marquee non-conference game every single season. I do not want to play Ohio State and then nine SEC teams in the same season. Like I do not want to play Michigan and then nine SEC teams in a single season. And then I'm sure, you know, who will be after that? I don't know, USC, like Oregon. It's going to be whatever. good. They're, they're going to be good. I mean, if Texas be great as a yeah. fan, they're they're great. They're like I, I want them to schedule those big non conference games. Yeah, I, we I hope Notre Dame get back that. on the schedule. Notre Dame, sure, all, all teams like that. Keep those games coming. Those are fun matchups. Those are resume boosting matchups. Those are fun road trips for Texas fans. Like I, I'm not advocating to get rid of the huge non con games. I'm just saying that you know when you can only afford two losses to get into the college football playoff, you don't need to intentionally try to give yourself more than two losses, okay? You don't, you don't need to try to give your loss against Ohio State every other year or something, Eight, huh? eight SEC. Like, there's going to be a year where Texas has to play OU, A&M, Georgia, LSU, and Ole Miss in the same yeah. season. Maybe Tennessee in there, too. That's like, enough as it is, huh? And then, and then Ohio State? You want all that? Like, I'd love to be the guy who's like, oh, yeah, bring them on, bring them on. And, look, I feel great about Texas right now. I think Texas could beat just about any team in the country. Dude, coach but I, would hated. Prefer, I would prefer a few more cupcakes. Yeah, you know who hates that? The coaches. You know who loves that? The players. They want the big games or the fans? Oh, the players want the big games. They want to go to big stadiums. They want big team, big time teams coming here. They want the television broadcast. You know who hates it? Their coaches, they want a cupcake. They want somebody they can beat down because they know what the following week will bring them. Yeah. You know, and they're yeah. trying to keep their gigs too. So, yeah, I see, I'm a fan now. I'm not a coach now. I want, I want the best of the best. I, I want to see Michigan. I want to see Notre Dame's Ohio State's. I don't care if USC pops back on here on Oregon. That, that's fine. And give me, still give me nine. Give me, mm -hmm. give me good games. I, I think most people agree with you. Uh, because like, they're fans, well, they're fans, of course, they would agree, right? They're right, paying right. ticket prices. I'm also a fan, you're and not a win. fan. I want you're, winners. You're a coach, you're just trying to get to playoffs. You're a coach, you want the easy way around because yeah. it's not easy as it is, no matter what it is, whether you're playing eight games or nine games and they're SEC teams, it's not easy. You just don't want to make it even more difficult. But as a fan, you don't give a shit, you want the best you can see. You know, you want the yeah, best yeah. games you can see. You don't want to cup it. You don't want to be paying that ticket price to, to play Rice when you can play uh, Notre Dame, right? I don't I don't go to the games. Right? I watch them on TV. You know, I could okay, watch whatever. it. <laughs> you, I could watch a, I could watch a 50 point shellacking of Rice. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not bigger than that. And we get the support. Oh, Rice doesn't need the money. They're doing OK. You know, if we play a, a small school in the state of Texas. Yeah, you want incarnate the, word. You want the yeah, word. Yeah, we cut them a nice check. We're supporting the education. You don't care about education anymore? I do. I'm about education. That's why I played a lottery. I'm about educating the children. Yeah. You know, you want you, you know, UTSA, you want that every year. Sure. The cap program. Support them. <laughs> Support no, them. Dude. I'd rather have Notre Dame in there. Oh, man. I'd, I don't I'd know. rather have Oregon. You'd rather have nine have conference games. I want, I want Oregon and Incarnate Word. I just don't <laughs> want that extra SEC team. No thanks. What you don't want is Washington on your schedule. You don't want to see that anymore. Well, I'm not worried about them now because their coach is at Alabama. Now I got to worry about Alabama again. Yes. Like here I am like, oh, when Nick Saban leaves, Alabama's not going to be a big deal. And now they got the coach who never loses to Texas. So that's yeah, annoying. I, don't, I, I just think as a fan, you want those big-time games. As a coach – 
you need a breather in the SEC. You know, that's why they give you game 11, some bunch of crap that we complain about when we're in the other leagues. Now that you're in that league, it's like, oh, no. When does Incarnate Word come up the street? You know what I mean? I can't wait for that game. It's not like, when does Notre Dame come into your stadium? As a fan, that's what you're looking for. As a coach and a – no, I want Notre Dame. I want them. I want Oregon. Yeah. No, I do too, but I don't want – And then I want Vandy twice a year. Oh, yeah. If, if if you get to play Vandy twice, if Vandy is your ninth SEC game every season, then bring on the doors, all right? You know? Anchor, anchor down, baby, whatever they say up there. Like, it's good. I'll take them. And I get it. Look, Tanner brings up a good point, right? And Steve Sarkeesian, Steve Sarkeesian has talked about, like, welcoming the challenge and embracing the difficulty of playing a bunch of games against Absolutely. SEC opponents and still playing really, really good teams in other conferences. If your team is good enough to win a national title, you should be able to win those games. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you're going to have to beat teams like that anyways in a 12-team playoff en route to a natty. But, but do, you need more, do you need more difficulty? I'll take the easier path, man. Like I'll take like baseball example. I'm a Rangers fan, world champs. Uh, like when the D bags beat the Phillies in the NLCS, I wasn't upset. I knew people were going to be like, ah, oh, well, that's not as impressive for the Rangers. They're beating like an, an average team. I don't give a shit. I want to win the title. That's right. I don't care who I play. Let me win a championship. So give me the easiest path ever. And the same people like, and the same people BK like myself, and you know our, our last texter, they they're the same. They believe the same too. As the season starts to wind down, they're going, "Damn, why are we playing them?" That's exactly how they're change. They'll yeah. change as the season goes on. Yes. Hey, l- let me call out some hypocrite Texas fans here. Uh, I don't think anybody was too upset that we got to play Oklahoma State in the Big Twelve title game. No, oh like, no, that was great. That was a like, great way to cruise into a championship. Like getting a shot at Oklahoma, getting redemption. Okay, I would have loved it. I think we would have beaten OU if we played them again. I did but, not want to play them. Remember at that time I said, I don't want to play them again. Most Texas fans were like, oh, yeah. And then we saw the Vegas line. Like, we're double-digit favorites in the conference title game. We'll Hell take yeah. that easy win. Like, you want the easy wins. You do. You want the easy wins when you can okay, get it. Okay, coach. Okay, you want the I'm easy I'm a coach. Wins. Call me yeah. coach. We're just fans. Uh, we're just fans looking for, we're looking for good games to come here. Hey, bring Mac Brown back. Bring the Carolina Tar Heels is one of those games. You're like, no, that's not an easy game. I don't want to play the Tar Heels. Hey, bring mm-hmm. on Dabo and Clemson. Why not? Don't you want to play Clemson? Don't you want to see teams like that in your stadium? Sure, sure. I'll play Clemson and then I'll play eight SEC games. No, no, no. You're playing nine. I'm not You're playing Clemson and then nine at no, no. Sorry about that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I mean, it's not my call, obviously. And I know it's going to be nine SEC games because that's where the money is. I, I get that it's inevitable. But I'm going to enjoy these next two years when it's an eight-game conference slate. Like, this this is when Texas really has – I mean, they're going to have an opportunity when it's nine games if they keep doing things correctly. Sure. They're going to be fine. But this is like – especially this year, this coming season, with all the turnover with coaches and quarterbacks in college football, with how much Texas has coming back, with how Texas kind of has a relatively easy, all things considered, conference schedule this year. Like, take advantage while you can. And with an yeah. eight-game slate, it's going to be easier for you to put together a good record that gets you into the CFP. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at this strictly as a fan. I'm not looking at it as a coach because as a coach, I don't want that preparation for Notre Dame or, or Oregon when I can get Rice. I, I, I really don't. But as a fan, I don't want to be playing Rice. I mean, if there's a if there's a ticket to be had and it's Notre Dame, bring Notre Dame here. Pack the stadium, pack the city, do all those wonderful things that will happen. You know, you're going to battle with them anyway. You're already in a tough conference with eight games. As you said, I, I, I would I would I would as a fan, as a fan, I want mm. the best games I can get as a coach. I need I need a cupcake somewhere in this conference, you know. I got to amend something I said. I'm cool with most big name non conference teams coming to Austin to play Texas. I do not want to play Notre Dame at DKR ever again. Because really? of what happened because of what happened last time. Now Texas beat Notre Dame last time they were here. But that game gave us 
one of our lowest moments in program history when Joe Tessitore's dumbass decided to drop the Texas is back, folks, oh. at just infamously plagued us for damn yeah. near a decade. So I don't want to see those fools again. Last time we played them up there was a disaster. We lost oh, yeah. 38 to 3. And then they came back here. And then it, uh, oh my God, it was so embarrassing forever because of Joe freaking Tessator. So I'm out on the Fighting Irish. Keep those Catholics up there. We got enough of y- y'all down here already. Yeah. I, I just, I'm, I'm telling you as a fan, it's just one of those ones you want to be a part of. As, yeah. a coach, as a coach, you're like, no, no, no. That's 20 times the work we have to do this week. I'm trying yeah. to prepare for everybody on their team. When we're wow. going to the following week play back in the toughest conference. As a fan, want that ticket. Don't want it. Don't want to see incarnate work. Rather see Oregon. Hell, rather yep. see Washington State. What would, you like rather, what would you rather see as a fan? A 50-point win over incarnate word or a seven-point loss to Oregon? You're a bad fan if your answer is the second one. Sorry. Well, why, 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 are we, why are you losing to Oregon anyway? I'm just saying there's more of a chance that you lose to them than there is incarnate word. It's more of a no, chance I, that you I lose to a ninth play. SEC team than you do I incarnate word. That, I would rather play that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd rather have a chance to win that game, not a chance to lose that game, but I'd rather feel like I have a chance to win that game and see it as a fan yeah. than to know the game that I'm going to win by 50. I mean, I can stay at my house. I won't go to the game, right? Let me, t- let me tell you. Uh, I think everybody who went to that Texas Tech game this year had a pretty good time. Oh, hey, by the way, they had a good time at that that uh, Big 12 championship game. Too. <laughs> I, I don't remember anybody leaving DKR on Black Friday or AT&T Stadium the oh, following no. Saturday saying, that wasn't fun. I so wish really, we played we really somebody way better that? than that. And I was driving on my way home and going, boy, that must be fun. <laughs> wow, do they stink. Party in there. It's a 60-minute party. For that both of those really games. Stink. That stinks. Uh, you people. Uh, I'm yeah, tired and, of you. And people. the thing about away and home games, I I just think though when you had those past rivals, even though you go off to another conference, I mean, I hope, I hope at some point, you know, when USC and Oregon, when they get to the Big Ten, they go back and play some of the teams that they played in the Pac 12 again. I mean, I mean Ohio State, I mean uh, USC and, and UCLA. I hope they go back and play some of those Pac 12 teams that they had played before. I hope they don't just forget about them and say, screw that. I mean, yeah. that's still their part of the country. They still have to go back there, you know? Yeah. You got the, the good news is, I mean, some of the rivalry games are going to continue. Like Washington and Washington State said they're going to keep playing. Dude, every that year. thing is huge. I never thought of the Apple. Like, the Apple Cup, what the how big? Why is that so big in yeah. Pullman? And it's, mm-hmm. I find out because I've gone there how huge it is. I've been on that campus. I mean, that's the game that they talk about. But for the now the USC game they talk about, but playing Washington is like life or death to them. Yeah. I mean, you I know? went to the Oregon, Oregon State game. That's also going to continue. Like I, I went to the Civil War a few years ago. Big deal. Yeah. That game always matters to that whole state. So uh yeah, at least some of the rivalries will continue. But and I agree with the Texas, Texas tech deal. That's a rivalry football game. I know to, to people at Texas, they don't think it is it's huge to tech fans. Absolutely huge. Oh, it's it's bigger to them than it is for us. There's no debate there, but uh, pretending like we don't hate them, that, that's that's wrong. Like that's that's a rivalry game, and I think it, it should play every year. So it won't. We'll see the next time Texas and Texas Tech play each other. It'd be at least five years, I think, before that happens. Maybe even longer. But uh, that that to me is is a little disappointing. Yeah, for but, me, the first of the first, give us Baylor because you want one that you think you can win. Give us Baylor then. Yeah, I mean Baylor. Yeah, oh, yeah, Tanner. Like no bedlam. Yeah, they, like these rivalries going away is stupid. That and that that obviously is bigger than any Texas Baylor Texas Texas Tech game, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, look, Baylor will have a new coach by the time Texas. That's, what plays I'm, that's, that's exactly did. what I'm thinking. You're right. <laughs> yeah, so they might be better. Uh, I wish Dave Aranda could stay forever. I think. Yeah, and 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 for the Bedlam game, I think that's coming back way quicker than Texas Texas A and M. That thing's coming back. That means way too much to that state. They they'll they'll figure a way to get through fighting. You know, and with making it political, they. Those two schools need that game more than anything. That, I think that'll be back in a couple of years. I don't think that's going away like people think. Oh, they're, they're, it's going to be like Texas, Texas A&M. I don't think it'll last that long. Yeah, I hope I don't not. think it'll come close. I hope not. 
Uh, last thing on this baseball over says BK. That's a weak sauce. Yeah, no, I said it. It is a, it is a weak minded <laughs> mentality by I me. Mean, I, that was how I preface this entire conversation. It's me being soft, but it's me also wanting to win and watch my team win winner. He wants winners. I want winners. Simple as that. So call me soft, but I, I think I'm just a better fan. No, you're not a you better can. fan. You're, 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 <laughs> you're a better coach. You know, better you're, coach. you're a better coach, but you're not a better fan because yeah. coach, you don't have to pay for the ticket. Fans want the ticket and they want the big ticket and they want their yeah. team to, to win the big games. They don't want, they don't want Texas state in corner where they beat them by 70. They want to beat the Oregon's of the world, whether they beat them by a field goal touchdown or beat them by 70, you know, yeah. but once again, BK, good thought on the Oklahoma state game for the championship. That was very nice. I wasn't, ah. big, I wasn't bitching about how they were getting, Oh, I, wish, I wish we had to play Dylan Gabriel again. No, no. no, no I, you know, don't. I said that when that time was at hand. I said, I don't want to Oklahoma play Oklahoma again. Then that was when everybody was – I was getting on – people were getting on me saying, you're soft. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to play that group again. I saw what they did. Yeah. I saw that they, they dearly really did that to Texas. And I'm not putting it that the coaches are going to be that much smarter. They're going to just figure out this time it won't happen. We'll try that same deal again. But it won't, and Dylan Gabriel won't do that to us. I said, no, let's play Oklahoma State. We're playing against Gundy. He can't win a big one. Are you kidding me? Anytime you can play against Gundy, do it. Yep. Yep. 